Hi, my name is Paul and I'm an account manager on the sales team here at Avenza. Hi, my name is Rebecca and I'm the Publisher Success Coordinator here at Avenza. Today, we're going to be going over some of your most frequently asked questions in the Avenza Maps app. One of our most frequent questions is, what is a pro subscription and how do I log in? A pro subscription is required for all professional uses of the app and when purchased through the sales team, we will provide you with a 20 digit subscription key to log into the app. From the app in the My Maps page, hit the top right hand corner, there's three dots, and go to the settings. And then under account information, you can navigate to the enter account details. The username is this 20 digit key that will be provided to you. Here you'll enter in your work email, your first and last name, and log into your new pro subscription. One of our other popular questions is what is a Map Store account? So on your My Maps tab, at the top, there is a head and shoulders icon. And if there's a check mark on this icon, that means you're logged into your Map Store account. If there's no check mark, tap the head and shoulders icon to log into your Map Store account. Your Map Store account is home to all of the maps that you've purchased or downloaded from the Map Store previously. We recommend that you make a Map Store account to keep all of your maps safe and always have a history of all of the maps you've purchased or downloaded from the Map Store previously. Another frequently asked question is how do I download my previously purchased maps? Once you're signed into your, your Map Store account, from the Download History button, you'll have a list of all of your previously purchased maps. From here, you can search by any term you like, sort by date or by name. Hitting the Select button in the top right hand corner, you can select multiple maps at a time to download. If you see a green arrow pointing down beside the map, that means that the map is, no, is not on your device and you can download it now. If you see orange text below the map, that means that there's a newer version of the map available for you to download. Another frequently asked question we get is how do I link layers? There's a few ways you can link layers in the Events and Maps app. The first one I'm going to show you is starting in the Layers tab. So once you get into the Layers tab, you can pick the layer that you would like to link and you can long press it until it shows that it's selected. And once it's selected, you will see the information I at the top and from there, you'll go into the Edit Layer page. In the Edit Layer page here, you can easily change the name, change the default icon, etc. But at the bottom, you'll see Linked Maps and it will tell you what maps that that layer is already linked to you'll see the option to link it to more maps or unlink to all maps. So if you tap link to more maps, you will be brought into a list of your maps where you can select which ones you'd like to link it to and hit the check mark at the top right to link it to those maps. The other option for linking layers to a different map is to go back to your My Maps tab and select the map you would like to link the layers to. Once you're on the map, Tap the three squares at the bottom right to go into your map layers, and at the top, you'll see a link button beside the search icon and the three dots. Simply tap the link icon and select the layer that you would like to link to this map. This is a friendly reminder as well to label your layers to make it easier if you're trying to link them between maps. Another common question we get asked is how do I record tracks? To record a track, open the map you'd like to record a track on. Here, we can see our blue location dot showing where we are. We're going to check our layer to make sure there's one there, and then we're gonna swipe up from the bottom to start recording a track. Make sure you go into the tracking tab and press start to start recording. You'll see it's providing you your current location, and there's a compass spinning around as long as your device has a compass. You'll be able to see your speed, average speed and distance as well as time. I've minimized it here to show you the different types of screens you can see as you're tracking. Another feature that goes along with tracking is that you'll be able to see what map you're actually tracking on from your My Maps tab. So if you go back to the My Maps tab, you'll see a little arrow in an orange circle on the map you're currently recording a track on. You can easily toggle in and out of the My Maps tab and go back into the map that you're recording on. You can also swipe up between the different views to see which one you'd like. Now, when you're ready to stop recording your track, sure you swipe all the way up 
then press the red stop button to stop recording your track. Once you've stopped recording, you'll be able to tap on the track to get information about it. The last most frequently asked question we get is how do I export my layers from Avenza Maps? There are two different ways to do so. The first way I'm going to show you is exporting from the Layers tab. To export from the Layers tab, you'll click the circle with the three lines at the bottom right and choose to export your layers. This will export all the layers on your device. You can change the name of the file, change the file format, and then you're also able to change the image size if you have images attached to any of your data. Click the circle with the square and the arrow pointing up to export your features, and then you'll be given the option of where you would like to export your features to. The other option is to export directly from the map itself. So go back to your My Maps tab and click on the map that you'd like to export features from. You'll see we have a track on this map and some pins. So we'll go to the layers button on the bottom right with the three squares. And then we're going to tap the circle with the three lines to export the data that is on this map. So choose export layers, and then we'll be given the same options as before to change the file name, change the format, and then again, if there are images attached, we are able to change the image size. Once you've made all your selections, click the circle with the square and the arrow pointing up again to export your features and choose where you'd like to export them to. We recommend that you always back up your data as frequently as possible. We hope this answers some of your questions and thanks for watching.